Hello everyone and welcome to The Daily Blue. I'm Corinne Caro and today I have a special guest, Mr. Bob Palacastro, founder of Angela's House. Thank you for joining me today, Bob. Thank you, Corinne. Really excited to talk to you about some of the new developments, things that are events and things that are happening with Angela's House. Angela's House, you started over 22 years ago after going through a terrible situation uh, with your, your daughter, um, and be as a result, you started these houses and helping all of these families. And of course, they, they, you need money. I mean, just, uh, just to get right down to the point, you, running these events that, that it's important for people to understand. Yeah, the, the, the two biggest reasons we raise money is to you know, help with the houses and, and the different things we need for the homes. Yeah. And then also a lot of the kids in the community, you know, when their private insurance is saying no, or any any type of state or federal funded or even Medicaid funds say no, and we know what's important for the child's safety or well-being. We we like to be that next alternative right. to try to you know, and it could be anything from some of the basic supplies. It could be something like trachs and feeding tubes right. over an over an allotment of what they normally might receive, uh, or it could be also. Uh, Strollers, you know, because, toiletries, you know, it, it's, you need so everything. It's, um, and it's amazing how many requests and how many thousands of dollars goes into getting these supplies, and many of them essential to, you know, the kids having a, you know, a comfortable or safe life. Right. I know it's really important to you that the children and the families feel like it's a family environment. Uh, and the support of the community has been tremendous for Angela's House over the years. And there's some significant families that stand out in helping you, including the Krantz family and also the Pace family. Yeah, the Pace, the Pace family, which, you know, we had a program going back, geez, I think it was like 15 years ago, where we, when we were a lot smaller, and we, we tried to let a, a family escape. Like, we called it a, a night out. Right. And we would get a gift certificate to a, a place, right? get nurse to cover, and let the family kind of get a date night, um, just to kind of escape. Right. And I walked in, met Jimmy Pace for the first time, and uh, I told him what I was doing, Right. and kind of stopped dead in his tracks. I had always heard how generous the family was, and he, and he has always lived up to that. Right. But uh, he ended up telling me, you know, I have people asking me for donations all the time, but this, what you're talking about really touches home with us because he said his middle brother has a medically frail child. Wow. And uh, it, it's been kind of a relationship that's grown ever since then. Tragically, that middle brother passed away. Wow. And in talking to both the brothers, Jimmy and then uh, Ron, who has the law offices in Smithtown, uh, we made a decision to actually create a golf outing in him in his memory. Uh, it's the William J. Pace, uh, and we now have now added on the father. So uh, it's it's a great outing. It's the twenty fifth of August at Nissaquag. You've done yes. it at Nissaquag Golf Course, which is so beautiful. And it, it is a lot of times come the cocktail hour time frame. You know, you'll overlook the water. And, and, and the combination, we have the uh, Paces steaks, and then we have seafood done, yeah. done by the uh, the club. Yeah. And nobody wants to move. Right. It's so It's such a beautiful setting. It uh, is. Very serene and absolutely delicious. So here you have a great event that really helps the necessities uh, and the needs of the children and the families of Angela's house. Yeah, it's getting, it's getting harder and harder. Because the last two years, we've helped 600 kids in the community. Right. And uh, trying to meet all those needs just gets more and more difficult. Yeah. You know, and, and you know, we don't want to say no, but we've been at the point where we have to be more and more selective on what we can and cannot approve. Right. Because um, every week, right. there is multiple requests that come to us, and each one of them ties into you know, several hundred or, Funding. or thousands of dollars in it. Sure. Yeah. Now, if there's a family that has uh, suffered from, from an illness or perhaps losing a family member uh, by any means, do you encourage those people to start something like uh, in order to recognize the Pace family um, and the passing of the, the son? Um, it's a nice way, I think, to let his legacy live on. Uh, I, I I do 
I think I've seen firsthand. You know, when I started some of the work, a lot of it was with advocacy, and then it led into being named after our daughter. So I do see the the beauty of that, and I think the Pace family has has really enjoyed that. Um, but I've seen several of the families, you know, that have gotten involved with doing, you know, everything from a major, you know, dinner fundraiser to even smaller events. Um, good example of that is uh, is a good friend in, on the radio, Bill Powers, 96.1, mm -hmm. yeah. does the, uh, you know, lost his, his daughter mm -hmm. after we spent several years helping them. And, you know, they were in a tough spot when they were actually out of state trying to figure out how to get home. Right. And he was a, he's been a great supporter ever right. since. Um, and I think when when him and his wife both got to the point where they felt they could talk about it. Right. Because it's, it's never easy. No. And now, you know, they're the first ones to get the station to help with a request-a-thon or, or when they do a concert to do a donation at the concert. So I, 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 do, I know personally it, it, it helps, you know, with keeping the legacy of, of that loved yeah. one still with us. And helping others, well, helping yourself even by talking about it helps keep the legacy alive, but also to help to deal with that and possibly to help people that are going through that. I, I, I've always felt too, and I, and I believe this with Bill Powers too, um, I think when people see that you, you know, can move on, somehow muster the strength, somehow, you know, find a way to to wake up that next morning after the loss of a child. That's also, I think, encouraging to parents right. when, when they know, you know, there's a possible way to survive it. Right. And I'm not saying it takes it's one easy. night. Or, you right. know, I mean, sure. but I, I think sometimes when having multiple people talking about it, right. it, it it's almost like a, a therapy in a, in a sense of uh, helping people Right. Of, of, overcome a loss, and and like you mentioned, you know when when people do things in memory or honor of someone, and, and we we do get quite a few people that that do this, and and uh, it's I'm very happy for them. You know, I've had people sponsor events and having the photo of their child right at the event, and, right. and I think that that's it's that's a, beautiful. It is beautiful, and um, one of the other things that you do that I really love is the in the lighting. Oh yes, the, it's just a beautiful way for everybody to come together and support each yeah, other. The, the Angel, Angel of Hope. We were we were very lucky to get it. It's in Eisenhower Park. That first Saturday in December, we do the candlelight vigil. Mm -hmm. The last two years, over three hundred people have come. Uh, it's spiritually, it's an amazing, amazing night. Uh, it's you know we we do talk a little bit. Yeah, we, we we bring in uh, people that are different professionals that you know have the ability to you know whether it's Diana from uh, Bereaved Parents of the USA and we've and had multiple other people. It's good to have someone talk to them. It's usually a tough time of the year for people that have lost a loved one, mm -hmm. and it's a I my family to this day, you know, still enjoy coming. Right. And uh, it means, means a lot to us. We dedicate kind of that day and that, that night to, you know, like uh, celebrating my daughter's life right. as, as a family. Wow. And many, and many families do that. So we, right. we, our agency does touch on things that most agencies would probably <laughs> run away from. Right. I'm, I mean, it's, I can't say it any other way. I right. Because it's, death and dying is a tough Oh, tough it thing. certainly is. But we understand from point of accident or diagnosis or whatever happened to potential point of a, of a child passing, these are all things that a well, family you, has to deal with. You have dealt with it personally, so I think that you can offer the support to the families and the community from a personal perspective. You and your wife have, have gone through this and you have been there. And when people see you today, knowing the struggles that you've been through, and now on a mission to help all of these families, it's just extraordinary. So it's been an honor with the Pace family to to have them do this outing every year, and gives them an opportunity to, you know, remember their their brother and right. and, and and father that were so instrumental to their lives, 
and uh, you know, I look I look forward to it. It's a they're they're a fun family, and when they, everybody they gets together, it's it's. It really, it's all about eating. Eating, and, they have good food. I mean, yeah, the Pace family does a, definitely does a, does a, knows. does a good job, and, yeah. uh, and of course, there's nothing like a piece of steak that's cooked right there on, at the golf course, which is It is, amazing. it is amazing. Uh, so you can find out about the event by going to the website? Yes, it's, we have it posted on the website, and we still have some space available. Okay. So I welcome everybody to come. And that's angelushouse.org www.angelushouse.org. Can you purchase tickets on the website or yes. also sponsorships? Yes. I'm sure that local communities can, sure. can would want to get involved and hopefully uh, they can uh, get more involved even further than the golf outing because you have some spectacular events. So thank you, Bob, for joining us today. Thank you, everyone, for watching. I'm Corrine Carroll in the Daily Blue here with Bob Calacastro from Angela's House. Please check out the website, angelushouse.org. And thanks for joining us. Thank you, Bob. Thank you, Corrine.